Hello you, welcome to Geekies and welcome back to Parker Sets. I love this look, people stop and watch the coasters occasionally but because of the scenery this guy is just staring at the wall. <laughs> look at him, yeah what a wall, woo! Uh, anyway, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, so in the last episode, we built this uh, sort of classic um, the, uh, three and back, I think they call them, Woody's, this sort of, you know, wraps around, absolutely rips you, rips you to hell and back. Um, and I thought today we would build a station for it. So that's going to be the plan. Let me turn my volume down. It's, it's awfully loud. Um, so let's have a look at some scenery. We're going to get some walls. I kind of want to do a little bit like the thing I did in... Um, in Pinewood Hills for our wooden coasters there, so very traditional uh, building. I think it will actually work out quite nicely. So first of all, I want to start with like a brick wall. Um, so unfortunately, the, wall, the the names of the stuff isn't aren't really names, so we just have to kind of keep scrolling so we find one that looks brickish, if that's even a real word. That trellis is nice, isn't it? I have to remember that's there. Uh, there's this sort of castley brick wall, but I think something a bit more. Um, Something a bit more like a like a brick. Let me just type in brick. So the problem is, unfortunately, oh, they're nice details. I have to remember them as well. Um, the walls are all just named wall, and it's it's a little unfortunate because it means I struggle to see the sort of thing I'm looking for. I guess it's that. Let's have a let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it's that, but I don't really like the uh, the white colour. Unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with it. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll use the. We'll use the castle style one instead, because um, that is a little bit more like the sort of look I'm going for. Uh, please bear in mind, I'm very aware that there are mods and all sorts of bits and goodness for this game. Uh, but I thought it would be quite interesting to try and see how we get on using the base game, uh, for now at least. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, what does that one do? Arch, wall window... Oh, it's saying what theme it's in, I see. Um, really kind of hoping for a... Oh, that's quite nice. We won't be able to use that. I was really kind of hoping for like a halfway one on this wall, but I guess it's not something we're going to get. Uh, all right, we'll use this to start off as the foundation, though. We're going to place this around the back. I... Um, it's space. I was going to say, I can't remember how to rotate, but luckily it's space. So we're not going to go for mega realism here. We're going to be going for just something that looks quite nice. With a, with a, you know, a, a, a little bit of uh, effort to make it look um, a little real, but for the most part, it's going to be quite um, similar. So, for instance, you know, we're not doing any area for uh, what they call them transfer tracks or anything like that. Ain't nobody got time for that in this game, I don't think. I know it's doable. I know it's doable, but it's just not really the sort of thing I'm looking to get for it. We've got plenty of coaster for that. Um, let's save that as a colour scheme. There we go. Okay, go away. Right, so shift lifts things up. Four will hopefully um, put that on there. Yeah, that's good. That's a good colour as well. So we want that just to be there, there and there, I think. Because then what we're going to try and do is using some supports. No, not supports. What do they call them in this? Um, pillars, there we go, using some cool pillars, let's try that one, oh you're not on the grid, so how do we get you on the grid, is it alt, ah now somebody, somebody points out how to get onto the corner of the grid, and I really can't remember how they said they'd done it now, is it one, two, no, one and then one again, there we go, okay, so that's good. So one and one again moves it between corners and not, which is pretty much perfect. So we're going to go here, 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 and here. And we're going to do that on the other side. Okay, so we're going to have a little low roof on the way into this area uh, using like just, yeah, just like a flat one like that, to be honest, is all we kind of need. Let's see if there's a slightly more interesting one. Um, no, I don't really like those metal ones. They're a bit too much. Okay, so we're just going to go uh, for this one, actually, but we just need to make it a nicer sort of like wooden colour. There we go. And that will now be uh, beginning of a roof. Like that. Yeah, good. 
and then we'll do that there as well. Okay, happy with the start of that. Now we'll go back to our walls. Scroll all the way down. And this one that we've done before here, we're going to use that one, but did, is there a window with this one? Let's have a look. Yes, there is. That's what we want. Window there. Colour-wise, though, we're going to start with you, and then we're going to make you... What do you change? Okay, and you change... You're changing the actual... There, okay. Good. So this looks like it's meant to be like a spooky one, but I think actually it'll just work quite nicely as a, as a window. Okay, so let's try that. Carousel is broken. That's fine. We, we, we got staff last time. I'm sure we got staff last time. There we go. And then we can lift you up. Fill in the gaps here. And... That and that will do. I think we need a little something else there somewhere, so we might end up going back and adjusting that. But one thing I do want to do is go all the way around just once again to get a bit of a height variation. In fact, I don't want those ones there because we'll go right up with those. And then there. Okay, so that is... Yep, yeah, that's all right there. Okay, so pillars then. Let's get back to pillars a moment. Grab that pillar we've just used. Um, holding down Alt to get it on the corner. That could be a little easier, to be honest with you. That's a, that's a bit funky how it does that. Um, let's get the height right, first of all, which is going to be there. And then we'll have you there, there, and there. And we'll, well, you can't really see you there, but we'll put you in. Um, and then we want a thicker pillar. Something like that will probably be good. Where we um, have to tap one again. Oh, that really is quite funky how yeah, that works. And then we can do that. Okay, let's uh, let's add this on on the corners here just to add a little bit of definition. Uh, we'll put you there, and hmm, we're we gonna guess there. Uh, okay, and then we'll go back to our roofs, a roof. And then, do we have like a single, not a flat one, but there, half slope, yes, okay. That's what we want, half slope, and we'll make the colour uh, brown, sort of, it's like red brown almost, isn't it? Um, and that can go there and there. Gives a little bit of detail there, that's good. Okay, back to our walls. Whoops, and back to our one here. And go there, 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 and there. And then roofs. Uh, which ones were we using? They were right right at the top here, weren't they? Although, I think, unless there's, a, unless there's the uh, little sort of diagonal peak bit, this isn't going to be... Oh, I want to try and see if we can do something different there. Um, let's have a look. Have we got a sort of pointy bit? Hmm. Any sort of single points? Doesn't look like we have actually. There's there's that one. Yeah, I was kind of hoping this would come to a single point so we could do something. Uh, whoops, like you know that in the middle, but we can't do that because the grid size won't change for walls, uh, which is fine. You know that's that's a limitation. That's something we have to deal with. So let's instead go back to this piece and see if we can do a pretty big piece like that. There we go. That looks alright. Now, as long as we can find wall pieces that fit in there, it looks like they're an option. Um, half slope in that colour. Is that what we're looking for? I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah. There we go. So we just wolf whistle. Okay. Uh, there's those. And then, do we have a end slope? No, it doesn't look like we have the little end one, annoyingly. Unless that's it, is it? What do you... Oh, no, you're like that. Okay, that's weird. So I have to just leave that plain. Um, but using some um, borders... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, borders, I guess. Cornice. Cornice flat. 
Let's choose that colour but make it a little brighter red. And that can be a red uh, edge piece, just a little bit of detail. It really is more just to cap the roof off than anything because they're uh, it wouldn't do it otherwise. Oh, no, didn't want that there at all. There's where I want it. There's where I want it. Okay, is there a uh, cornice slope? Cornice diagonal slope. Cornice peak. Cornice half peak. Cornice slope. There's the one I saw once. And I want the same colour as that. Does that work, I hope? Uh, oh no, not a slope. Half slope then. Because pretty intense full slope. Okay, uh, yeah, that looks more like it. So there, 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 and there. And we'll put it on these bits as well, actually, just to kind of cap that off. Good stuff. Uh, okay, we should probably uh, close that. There is a... Do we have to have that open? There is, a like, a piece picker. So we'll come in and pick that piece, so to speak, uh, and then raise it up. And then we can place it around there. There we go. Just to kind of finish that area off. And they, I think it said there was a half cornice, half peak. There we go. Obviously, it needs to be the right colour. Which is that one. And then. Uh, we can put it there, and there, and that kind of finishes off the roof. Okay. Um, it's a little plain, but I think it looks the sort of thing I want, you know, it's just one of this sort of plain, uh, I just did want it plain, to be honest with you, so yeah, that's where it's at quite nicely. Um, details, let's have a look if there's anything like uh, lights that can go, uh, or, oh yeah, awnings over the window, they might be nice with a bit of a red colour, seeing as that's kind of the... Uh, theme we're going for. Let's drop them down there. Okay, and then, how do these go on? Do they fit like that? For? Oh, yeah, they're cute. Okay, so we can have those. Wall lamp. Cable bracket chimneys. There are some really like, strange pieces that you get. Chimneys and pipes, but very little in the way of lighting. Um, let's, let's just select everything and see what we've got light-wise. Spotlight turret. Oh my words! Look at that. Um, is that it? Is that the, you're the only thing in the game that has the word light in it? Okay, let's try lamp. Oh, you're the only thing with lamp in it. Sconce. No, that'd be too good, wouldn't it? Uh, okay. Well, in that case, we'll leave it like it is. I would like a, an entrance booth. I think uh, somewhere. here to say tickets are available so to speak that looks good and then what else detail wise I think we need do need some sort of trellis over the path here and um, we haven't really got many options regarding ride signs either have we we could put something like that down there that looks quite cool uh, there isn't really much going on in the way of uh, ride signs that's a bit of dead space there so we'll put that there and that can be like our uh, Pinewood Through the Ages um, things as well. Oh, we need to do some go-karts at some point because they have these awesome go-kart pieces, look. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at fences. And a nice fence we can put on here. Fence trellis. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I like how the uh, fences kind of automatically both attached to the path and can be dragged and replace the uh, the crappy ones that are already there which is that's really good um, can we do uphill oh we can as well that's cool uh, might as well do that as well then keep it all in yeah good and then we'll come down that way uh, we'll come down that way to there although I would actually like a little bit of uh, more detailed foliage here, so I was thinking, ah, yes, something like this would be nice. 
There you go. So we've got some hedge work there. Has that got rid of that fence? It has. I wonder if we can put the fence back on, but on this side. Yeah, we can. Cool. So now the hedge on that side. As uh, a post about wooden coaster on social media went viral. Oh, neat. So that means... Oh, no. That means... Uh, more people are going to come and use it, I guess. Okay, we'll do it that way. And then there's a little bit of coverage there for the ride itself. Hedge end. Put a hedge end there. And I'll tell you what we will do as well. Even though it's not necessarily ends, we'll, uh, we'll put these along here. There's a little bit of detail as we go down. I think somebody's just trying to have a poop on sounds things. Uh, sounded good. Well, we didn't say that good. Sounded interesting. Uh, okay, I think that's kind of all we can do there. I mean, maybe some... Uh, we, we did have those cool trellis pieces. Let's see if we can find those back again. Uh, was it that one? Oh, yeah, they're good. And I'll see what we'll do. We'll have them, actually, uh, here. Because then it'll stop people sort of hopping the queue who's just exited, you know? That's good. And then here, these pavilion trellises, we'll have a few of these uh, coming out in the middle here. So there's a little bit of covering, not much, but just a little bit to give people uh, a bit of a bit of shade. And I wonder if we have TVs or screens, is it? Hmm, I'm sure I saw televisions at one point. Um... Let's have a look. Effects, fire, water. Ah, yes. Somebody pointed out that we do have water effects in the game, like we wanted to add here. Oh, we did it. <laughs> I just remember that then. Something was uh, something somebody mentioned. Um, right. Mausoleum, water tower, rocket ship. These are all for slightly more themed areas later on, I guess. The swan they had. Archways, is it then? Oh, we could put, use one of these. Quite. These are cool, aren't they? Oh, this is cool. Here we go. Let's do that. Um, huh, you're, you're a bit big. Are you smaller? No. But we could do that, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, that one. I mean, that looks okay, actually. Although it's a bit annoying that the colours don't line up. We could fix that, though, couldn't we? If we just swapped the colours. Copy. So you're the red, and the white, and the red becomes E2, E2, E2. And then we put it down. And then it should link up. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, hedge archway, that's nice as well. Maybe coming off the rise, that'd be too much, I think, maybe. Gear archway, that's really nice for a themed area. What's that one? Brass archway? Hmm, a, def a race archway. Yeah, we are definitely doing go-karts at some point here. Sculptures. Nothing really is jumping out at me. Small, Lots of small things, but again, it's mostly sort of theming, and we're keeping the theming quite light here. Yeah, it's meant to purposefully be a sort of unthemed ride. Um, what's a curtain? What's that look like? Ah, that's cool. I'll look at placing that at some point as well. Uh, I mean, we could do some some sort of foliage around. Um, one thing I do want to do is kind of fence off the uh, the back of the ride. So, is it that one we've used? Uh, so nice how it sort of grows. Um, or maybe it was that one. Yeah, that's the one we've used so far, and that's probably the one we're going to stick with, actually. Although, if we do it too close, it's going to clip. So, let's do it there instead so we can just sort of section off the ride for whenever we end up coming down here which we which we will um i don't know to what extent yet but we will actually end up doing that so at least there it's it's sort of cornered off it's it's safe um, let's add some fur do you know what let's do them in here actually yeah there's a little bit of foliage on the other side in here so that can work The first, and have we used poplars as well? 
Okay, uh, maybe one or two little ones. Nothing crazy in there. Maybe a couple in the middle. Sort of ones that they've left there to add a bit of scenery to the ride. And a couple of small ferns if we can. Oops. Well, maybe not that one because that got rid of some supports. We don't really want that to happen. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. Okay. Negative, recent negative news decreased interest in theme parks. Oh dear, that's something that hopefully that we haven't had anything to do with. Okay, so there's that done. Uh, let's have a little look at putting some go karts down because I really like the idea of go karts. Not to show where they are though. Calm River Ride, Log Flume. Look at all these rides that this game has. Bumper cars, transport rides now, coasters, thrill rides, go karts. There we go. Um, oops. Okay, let's uh, let's kind of plan this out. What's happening with the path? We'll probably bring the path this way. So this area here could actually be go karts, couldn't it? Um, let's do it there. Okay. So is this station that we're building right now? It is. Yeah, station, station. Okay, so we'll say that can be the station, and then we'll turn it into track. Okay, so we'll start with a bit of a straight. Clicking everywhere, look like it's... Uh... And then we'll go this way, and we'll come to the sort of side of the, of the path there. That would be quite nice. Bit of, bit of, inter bit of path interaction there. Uh, we'll have a, a wide turn. Uh, oh, no, that's too much. Uh, unless, hold on, can we do that? Mm, that's pretty extreme as well, isn't it, actually? Uh, let's go straight a little. There we go. Straighten up so you can do a bit of a tight turn in. Uh, do we have any specials? We have that, we have that, we have helixes, crazily, and we have that. Okay, so now we're going to keep it. We're going to have to make our own uh, fun here. So let's do that. Can we squeeze that round? Oh, we can. That's great. Um, do you know what? Let's go. Let's go straight into that. There we go. Um, okay, and then we'll do a bit of a. I think they call this a chicane. Okay, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to go straight for a little first, though. Okay, and then we go like that. There, 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 there. Okay, and then we'll. Hmm. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's go another one of those. And then we'll come that way, but with a bigger one. Uh, okay, so here we're actually going to go quite near the path, and we'll actually go. We'll go straight out here, and the path can actually go over it. But I tell you what, let's do a bit of terrain work. Okay, and rather than the path coming up like a bridge, we'll have the go-kart track go down. So, terrain, um, terraforming, no, that one terraforming yet, so, yeah. Let's do it like that, and let's do a two, three by three. Okay, and then we'll take that down, that's good. Oh my god, somebody really wasn't very impressed with that, with the rise then. Uh, let's do that and then we'll come back up here okay that seems like it should be about right it might need to be a bit higher but we'll see how we get on okay let's no let's edit the track how do we do that edit perfect I want to I just put them down for now. I want to. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. How do I carry on building this? Ah, there is that the problem. Right. Okay. Right. So there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So let's have a look. Is that the down there? No. One more. 
build, and then down. Oh, no. Boop. There we go. Build. Build, build. Straight. There we go. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe one less than that. There we go. Build, build. Okay, and then we start going back up again. And we'll keep going up. If that's enough. No. Maybe one more. Okay, there we go. Build. So it's pretty high now, but I think it's okay. I think we can get away with it. Do that. Build. And then we'll lower it down. There we go. Bring it there. A little straight to finish off with. And hell, we'll finish with a pretty uh, pretty tight hairpin. Um, like that. Straight. And there. Straight. And then a little bit of straight back in to the station. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty neat. That seems like a pretty... It's quite long, but it's got a few different techniques, a few different like tricks. You know, it's got a nice wide curve. It's got tight curves. Here again, wider ones into like this crazy chicane thing that we've got going on here. Down a bit of path interaction we'll have here. Back up again. A uh, little bit of height, but nothing too crazy. We can put some supports around that and make it look right. And then we head back into the station. All right, I'm happy with that. Um, I want to redo these properly though, so. Entrance needs to be over here at the front. Well, that's as close as it can go anyway. Exit needs to kind of be at the back here, really, doesn't it? Out of the way. Okay, let's get it open. Open. Okay. Pathwise, we'll do the Q. Um, which Q do we use? The soft one. There we go. But I don't want that color scheme. That's the colour scheme we're using for cues. There we go. And then we'll take this all round here. There we go. And then the exit can come this way. Okay. This is going really quick. Oh, we are on doubles. I was going to say, this is really a quiet dead right? <laughs> um, all right. Let's do that and that. And then bring that. So that gives us an idea where that's going to go. We'll have to do some fencing here, obviously, and a bit of detailing. And then the path itself will carry on kind of over this way, I guess. Uh, how, do we, how, do we, how do we do it like that? There we go. And then up. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then down. And then straight. Okay, so that's no problem there. We want to take this down to here. Uh, turn it around. Oh, we've gone too far one way, haven't we? So take it there. There we go. So flat, turn it. I always used to hate this uh, technique in... Um, there we go. In Roller Coast Tycoon, you know, they use a similar sort of technique, and I never used to get on with it very well. Uh, but you know what? It seems to be doing what we need it to do. There we go. And it creates this nice pattern across there, and it'll give cool, uh, nice uh, areas to see there as the go karts go. They're all off look. Okay, good stuff. Right, I think we made good progress there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Look at this. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chatting, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.